Amongst the incarnations of Lord Vishnu perhaps Lord Krishna is the most charismatic and human of all. He has his share of faults, his share of magnetism that drew followers and haters alike. His strong sense of moral compass, which led to the Mahabharata war and his distortions and interference was all for the purpose of flushing out the evil and retaining the good. Why the ever-devoted brother Kamsa decided to imprison his newly married sister Devaki and brother-in-law Vasudev after the divine Akashwani, divine announcement, stated his end would be at hands of the eight children of Devaki and Vasudev, the Lord had other plans. By the time the seventh child was conceived, the gods decided to intervene. They reached out to goddess Yogmaya and had her transfer the fetus from the womb of Devaki to the womb of Rohini. Vasudeva's other wife who lived far away from the prison in a village of Kokul. The child was then delivered through Rohini. He is known as Balram. When the eighth child was due, Kamsa got really nervous. All these days, they had been under house arrest, but now he shackled Vasudeva and put Devaki in a proper prison. The child was born on the eighth day into the dark half of the month, and it was pouring rain and thunder. A child was born and a miracle happened. The doors of the prison opened up by themselves, all the guards fell asleep, the shackles broke. Immediately, Vasudeva saw that this was divine intervention. He picked up the child and as if by intuitive guidance, he walked to the river Yamuna. Though the whole place was flooding, he found to his surprise that the ford which crossed the river was sticking out and he could clearly walk. Vasudeva carrying infant Krishna across river Yamuna. He walked across and went to the house of Nanda and his wife Yashoda. Yashoda had just delivered a girl child. She had had a difficult labor and was unconscious. Vasudeva replaced the girl child with Krishna, took the girl child, and came back to the prison. Kamsa came and saw that it was a girl. He picked up the child by her legs and wanted to crash her on the floor. When Kansa tried to kill the exchanged baby, it transformed into goddess Durga and warned him that his death had arrived in his kingdom and would come back to punish Kansa for his sins. That Kansa would find no peace and keep thinking about his end, she said that she could kill him then and there, but Kansa's end had to be timely, and then the goddess vanished. However, Kansa was certain that the prophecy may not be entirely true given that if his slayer was born inside the prison, he would have surely killed him. With a slight relief, Kansa finally freed Vasudeva and Devaki, and let them live in a separate palace. After some days, Vasudeva shared what happened on the night of Krishna's birth, and though Devaki was sad, she was relieved to hear her son was safe. Days later, News of Nandraza and Yashoda's son's birth reached the kingdom. People were gushing about the unique twinkle in the child's eyes, about how he was always happy, and how his mere presence spread joy and cheer all around. Krishna grew up unaware of his destiny, far away from all the chaos of Mathura, in Gokul, with Nanda Baba and his wife Yashoda, as his foster parents.